Good afternoon and welcome to session two here at the Broad... Uh, not the Broad... I'm so used to saying the Broad Beach Bowl Club. There's your first fault of the day, Val. Uh, at uh, Helen's Vale, Club Helen's Vale here for women's singles action. It's Lara Butler against Kelsey Cottrell, the defending champion, as she looks to continue to maintain her, author- her authority over this discipline. She has been the star singles player across this country and Lara Butler from Western Australia has been on a giant killing run, taking down Christina Christick and Chloe Stewart in her past two games. But the level does up a notch as Kelsey looms large behind her. Who knows what will happen but Val, Val Febo here with you and joining me, Ben Crick's delighted. Ben, welcome. Thank you very much. Glad to be here again for this singles match. It's a, an exciting one. Lara Butler uh, from the Oh, the great club Manning in uh, Western Australia. Uh, both girls using Drake's Drake's Pride, one with Adrenalines and one with Conquest. They're, they're going to run really wide on the green. That's really getting quick at the moment here at Helensvale. This one has gotten underway. Lara with the mat first. Formerly Mertz. Now Butler, married to Blake Butler. Over the, uh, call it, well, not really the off-season, but in the uh, in the new year. Yeah. And uh, 21 up. That's the format we're playing to. And no time limit, of course. Kelsey looking to become the second female to defend her title. Natasha Van Eldick did it in 19 and 21 with, of course, no tournament in 2020. She's won this tournament many, many times. For the first time in 09, she's done it uh, twice. She's won the tournament as a whole, I think, on 10 occasions. Player of the tournament twice as well for the last two years, Ben. Yeah, fantastic to see the level of players here. I'm just looking up and down the rink as well. We've got uh, our Canadian representative Kelly there against Cass, Cass Miller from uh, Moama. And they're closest to us. And then looks like a pairs match over there that I didn't see. Semi-finals. Semi-final, didn't see yep. advertised. Dawn Heyman and Jamie Lee Warsnop and Genevieve Delves and uh, Natasha Van Eldick, they got up in a classic contest against Brianna Smith and Emma Spicer. One of the more uh, bizarre matches I've ever seen, one of the most high scoring, uh, 40 shots in 18 ends, absolutely amazing. Yep. I'll see what the girls, ladies are doing here, first up with their, uh, their first bowls. Kelsey holding sway at the moment. Lara just not finding the line. So an opportunity here for the Queenslander to get on top in this contest early. So, I believe with the pairs going on now, that may mean that our live streaming schedule does change for the next contest. So, I believe it'll be a fours match. Um, We'll keep you updated as to what that is. But up until then, Kelsey Cottrell holding three. She's now down one, Lara Butler. That is a nice little nerve settler. Yeah, it took three bowls to adjust the line there, but when she did, it doesn't get much better than that. Kelsey, of course, has been here on a plethora of occasions. Currently wearing a Helensvale shirt, is she not? Yeah, this is her home club. Mm-hmm. I'd know this green extremely well then. She certainly would. It'll wait here. Good to have everyone's company from wherever they're watching. Kelsey, what she got? She's missed under. So that's one to Lara Butler. She was down three. She played a bomb and she takes the lead. Jim Howie watching from the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria. Whereabouts in the Mornington Peninsula? That is a beautiful part of the world. Oh, are we going to measure here for a second? Well, we must have had a funny view on that. I didn't mm. see that coming. No, neither did I. Lara Butler might have a two to start this. That's exactly what she wanted to start this. And I think I remember last year in the semis, Kelsey, or it was at least the quarters... Kelsey was a bit slow to start against Bolivia Millerick, but she came home pretty strong. That is a two. So a very good start for Lara Butler.
So if we look at the uh, 2022 women's singles draw, it was all Kelsey Cottrell. She won, well, she's won pretty much everything there is to win here at the uh, at the Australian Open. Of course, in the double figures in terms of titles, defeated Dawn Heyman 21-17 to win the title last year in an epic final that will sit within one of the greatest matches that this tournament has ever seen. And the semi against Bolivia Millerick. She was, of course, down uh, 12-8. Or, sorry, she was down uh, 7-2 early in that contest and then ended up wrestling it back and winning 21-13 against Bolivia. So she was out to a slow start in the semi last year. And all these results are on uh, Bowls Link, all the historical results. You can have a look and see what you can find. If you're a bit of a stats person, then uh, get into it. Don't mind it. So Kelsey now having to come through, and she does so nicely. Uh, Gary Schultz, yeah, you know, is it Lara or Laura? It's written as Laura, but uh, she's instructed us that it's pronounced Lara. It is. Representing Switzerland, of course, this year at the uh, World Bowls Championships. With bowls like that, she's going to be pretty hard to beat. Cass Millerick has taken the opening end against Kelly McCarahan. She leads that 1 0. Yeah, with a, a 1 on her first end and then dropped her ball straight on Jack immediately and uh, put the pressure back on, on Kelly. Good, good players everywhere here at the moment. Oh, Kelsey just ran through a little then. One white ball is the, is the call there from the ITO. So Lara Butler, she got off to a really quick start against Chloe Stewart. And a title here would, I think, mean the world to her. Western Australia, you know, they, they are so far away from this East Coast. But you see the bowlers that they have produced. And you look at Chrissy, you look at Lara, Lisa Featherby, Therese Hastings, Clive Adams. Yeah, yeah great representation. Bert and, Sharp. Uh, yeah, we're a parochial mob, us West Australians, and Ben Crick's the lightest. Really get behind it. <laughs> I'm not at the level of any of those people you mentioned. Maybe Clive. <laughs> <laughs> so, starting a little bit earlier than what we planned here. 11:45 was the scheduled start. But that's why we tell everybody to like the Bowls Australia Facebook page and put your notifications on at the moment. I believe it's one to Kelsey or a measure. I'm going the early crow. I like the early crow. I like that. We got the, the ITOs are pretty switched on. They will let us know who's holding what under the uh, watch fly of Sandy. Lara with a really purposeful delivery. It's one of the more picturesque ones that we have. And what she got here, is it enough? I'm not so sure. Yeah, I think she was hoping to uh, for it to fall down a little there. Yep. We'll just see what the ITO says. And oh, no indication at all. Probably means it's a very good oh, yep, measure. From measure. Indicated by Sharon, our ITO. Really healthy volume of people today at the at Club Helens Vale. Yeah, once again, stacked four deep there under the cover. It is um, very warm in the sun. And I can understand why people are seeking shade and the green is completely surrounded. So, Kelsey, what can she arrive on? What can she do? She comes through and her bowl falls down, so... Hmm, I reckon this might be one to blue, but... Yeah, it certainly, yeah, definitely fell forward, and uh, falling falling forward makes it a... Uh, one, yep. one, one, to Kelsey. one to Kelsey. So she's on the board, the defending champ. 2-1 in favour of Lara Butler. 
who has enjoyed a wonderful Australian Open campaign. Cass Millerick leading 3-0 over Kelly McCarrahan. She looks to progress her way through to an Australian Open final. Both of these two games happening simultaneously. They can watch what's happening on the next rink as they focus on their own game as well. But I'm sure it'll be the furthest thing from their mind. Kelsey not going with that traditional T to T that we see from her normally. Depending on how the momentum changes and what Lara Butler can do in this contest. Yeah, that's a real surprise. That's um, maybe she's been watching some some tapes or been watching uh, Lara play and has seen a seen a little chink in her armour there as she's been taking down the giants of the of our game. Maybe short ends don't suit Lara. She's a very smart bowler, Kelsey Cottrell. She'll know exactly what she has to do. Lara Butler just coming underneath. Won't be enough. Kelsey will still hold. We'll, of course, keep you updated with the women's pair semifinals as well. And you can look at all those results at results.bowlslink.com.au or... Download the Bowls Now app via the App Store or Google Play. Kelsey getting another one in. What can Lara Butler reply with? She'll go on the backhand. Left-handed. Offering something different. This weight looks exquisite. And she nestles that in. That'll be one to Lara Butler. This is interesting there all across the line there. I'm just looking up at the flags and there's there is a very slight breeze di blowing diagonally across the green here from that side. Maybe the, on a quick green that breeze is enough just to move them. That'll adjust quickly though. Seems like it's coming the other way though. Yeah. It's hard to see a green level but behind us the flags are popping straight up over our heads. No issue there for Kelsey. Yeah. She found it. As she so often does. She's been the dominator of Australian bowls over the last year. Took some time off from the international scene. Withdrew from contention for the Commonwealth Games. <coughs> Lara Butler will go around, so she'll have one more. Hayley Packer joining. Let's go, Lala. So, Kelsey looking to put in a second here. Oh, she's going to cover. Might be taking this one. She's down 2-1. Lara Butler with an opportunity here. Let's see what she can conjure up. What does she do here, Ben? I'm looking at the head. She needs to, well, she needs to make a change. She needs to arrive pretty hard. She does have the best back. I, I think she'll be playing with some real intent at that front bowl and uh, hoping to smack Jack th all the way through to, to her. There's a lot of room all the way to the tee. Kill, kill only advantages her. Can't see her being short here. Lara Butler on the forehand now. She's not far away. She's not far <laughs> away. She spilled it out, and that will be enough, I believe. Yeah, definitely gone far enough back there. ITO's lifting that outside bowl, went out of bounds. Yeah, Lara's got the mat. Beautifully done by the Western Australian. Absolutely perfect weight. Drove straight through enough to push Jack back far enough without, without a risk of killing it or, uh, or driving it into... One of Kelsey's bowls, it's a fantastic play. Cass Millerick next door against Kelly McCarran. She leads 4-0. Lara Butler here leads 3-1. Now, for those who thought that Kelsey might be having a walk in the park today, it certainly won't be the case. Lara is a quality bowler. She's a star. Knows exactly where to put bowls and has a magnificent touch on the green. Why oh, is she showing it just there exactly right? Of course, that app, I've uh, been asked again what the uh, what the app is. It's Bowls Now. 
So download that. It's on the App Store and on the and on uh, Google Play. And you download your your apps from trusted sources. There's only two that we trust. So what's Kelsey got in reply? Lara goes a little bit behind, so Kelsey has an opportunity to build a home around the jack. Prime real estate available. She's a bit short, but she'll take the shot. Yeah, hides jack a little there. That um, makes it tough for, for Lara. Sandy Wallace just here. Come on, Sandy, say something. To your last AO. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Just what favourite AO memory? Favourite AO memory? Hmm. Probably being interviewed by you and Clive. Oh, that's nice, but you've completely left Ben out to dry here. <laughs> no. Well, I've not worked with Ben. I've not worked with Ben, only marking. Not, that's uh, right. Not we we, we have certainly have worked together. We don't butt heads at all, Sandy, <laughs> do we? <laughs> Uh, well, once Ben learned to take notice, that was great. <laughs> Very nice by you, Sandy. Sandy, you've done a wonderful job. I thought I'd get you on just one last time. And Nick Hind owes me a bagel. <laughs> but no, Sandy has done just the most remarkable amount of work with bowls. Um, you know, she'll enjoy retirement. She'll still enjoy playing. Yeah, in South Australia, she's a, uh, a giant of the game in South Australia and one of the great personalities in bowls. She is. <coughs> well, we got Kelsey's just drawn another fantastic bowl, pushing her first one across and back behind Jack. Option there now for uh, for Lara on her backhand. Again, she's a left-hander, so as a lot of the best people are. Well, she's got that there on her bowl at the back to roll Jack onto. She nailed one in the last end. She's got one more to negate this two from Kelsey. 21 up, of course, the format that we're playing. No time limit for a semi-final. There is a lot on the line here. Yeah, as expected on that backhand. See if she's given it enough enough weight might be the problem. Lara Butler, is it going to get there? That's going to stop. So an opportunity for Kelsey. Now, looking at the head here, opportunity for her to secure a third and take the lead for the first time in this match. Yeah, dead draws will be good enough to do it, and she's certainly good enough to... Make that dead draw. So, Kelsey Cottrell for a number three or for a three. And it's light on as well. It does, but it's trying. It might have just done enough. It might have just done enough. Showing the ITO giving us nothing, no indication. Oh, tape. Tape's coming out. So it's definitely two to Kelsey. Another inch of weight, and we wouldn't be measuring this, but let's see. I reckon uh, Lara would be hoping that it's just a two. And that's all it is. So no harm done. Three all after four ends here. The semi final. Has started end for end. Nobody really able to wrestle the ascendancy. And there she goes back back to the T. Oh, she's gone short again. Yep. Really not what I expected and probably not what Lara expected either. Therefore, good tactically. 4-1 lead to Cass Millerick over Kelly McCarrahan. Kelly, of course, will be featuring for Canada in the World Bowls Championships in women's singles and pairs.
Kelsey has been, as I said, the form player in singles play over the last year. Her 2022 and start of 2023 alone saw her take home the 20 or the delay or the 2022 Queensland State Championship singles, the Australian Open singles, the Golden Nugget. She won everything. Oh, we love the Australian it. indoors. And almost a world title. She got to the quarterfinals or round of 16 at the World Bowls Indoor Championships. That's the Amy Williams of Wales. Impressive uh, opening bowl there by Kelsey. She's about a foot and a half behind Jack. Lara... Didn't match it up, has uh, chosen to go about a metre and a half back, and we'll see what happens now with the draw. Joan Kelsey is using Drake's Pride Conquests. No jackhammers to speak of in this game so far. Is a helicopter hovering behind us somewhere. Yep, they know what's going on today. I did have a word with the ambulance drivers that had pulled up earlier, and they were just stopping to watch, watch a couple of ends before they went back on their shift. So what you're saying is you're you're on you're on fire. You've made the you've made the fire brigades come, and now you're just a heart stopper as well, <laughs> being pricks the lightest. And now the police having... are going to come because you've stolen people's hearts here oh, on Ringside Live. Maybe people just thought I was having a having a heart attack myself. <laughs> Great shot there by Kelsey. Three three uh, beautiful balls at the back. Lots for uh, Laura to rest on, but you wouldn't want. I wouldn't see three better bowls than that normally. Yeah, this is danger signs for Lara Butler because Kelsey is starting to build momentum. And when Kelsey Cottrell does that, very, very hard to knock off. Two-time defending player of the tournament. Probably won't get there considering she's out of the pairs and fours this year. And Aaron Sheriff and Aaron Wilson are both still in all three disciplines. Kelsey. Yeah, she's covering here. But wide. So Lara. With arriving weight. It's going to come back. It's going to come back. Well, this is the ball she needed. And Oh, no. She's hit the jack straight into the mouth of Kelsey's three. So Cottrell takes the ascendancy at her home club. 6-3 the lead. A great effort from Lara Butler. Mightily unlucky. Yeah, just really let go at the end and uh, unfortunately to edge jack back. Probably actually looking to arrive on Kelsey's bowls at the back there, but uh, a great shot, just a bit unlucky in the end. Uh, Les, the score on Kelly's rink hasn't changed. It's about to. 4-1 the lead of Cass Millerick. Keep you updated. And you can also have a look. Results.bowlslink.com.au or download the Bowls Now app. It's all live scored today, so you can keep on top of everything that's happening at the 2023 Australian Open. Kelly has scored another one. So 4-2 the lead to Cass Millerick so far. Yeah, Kelly just bringing it back one at, one at a time. As we look at this rink again, and a really, that's a very close to minimum length there by uh, Kelsey. This is definitely a tactical move by her. Yep. And it's so far paying off. I think Pears is being live scored. We apologise. So we'll... Um We'll uh, keep you updated with what's happening with Cass and uh, and Kelly. Apologies for that. So Lara Butler, she was mightily close in that last end. She got the jack. She needed a little bit more. We've got our first Martian on the coverage. She's all watching from Mars. <laughs> okay. Say hi to Discovery Rover for me. Where are we at? We have Lara's got that beautiful bowl at the back. I really like the white bowls. They stand out. Vince Roper watching from Lake Tahoe in Nevada. Maybe speak to Andrew Howie, uh, possibly about a Las Vegas BPL. Wouldn't that be something? 
F1 gets the strip. Why can't Bowles have the strip? <laughs> I'd uh, consider flying over for that one. Could you imagine? Bowles just stopping the sunset. Is it What's sunset the strip? strip? No. Yep. Is it sunset oh, no, strip? The, I don't know. Or the know. strip. Really good bowls there. It looks like Kelsey's got the shot there, the one that's straighter. But enough space there for everyone to get into. Here comes Kelsey on the run, trotting down the green after her dark blue bowl there. It doesn't look like it's going to quite make the distance. Solara's constructed this head pretty well. But she'll want to... Make that target as small as possible for Kelsey because it's there and there's an opportunity. Having said that, that is three. Now, what's the option here for Kelsey Cottrell? Because Lara Butler is about to reciprocate. Yeah, she just needs to arrive in, in amongst Lara's bowls there, but what a fantastic shot by Lara with, to push uh, with enough weight just to push Kelsey through about two feet and it, uh, and and... Gain the ascendancy there with three three shots. Girls having a really good look. Here we go. Oh, she needs some turn now. Oh. She's just gone over, so an opportunity for Lara Butler to take a full count and Pamela Armstrong asking if it's Lara or Laura. Well, spelt Laura, pronounced Lara. So an opportunity, a free kick, for the butler to deliver a four. <laughs> There's a song to get stuck in your head there, Mike Houston, watching from Gundagai. Down the track. <laughs> Lara Butler. Oh, strong to there. Yep. Carefully, oh, carefully. no, it hasn't happened again, has it? She might still get lucky enough, but Kelsey picks up the jack and gets a one. That is, I've said, barring catastrophe a few times this week. Instead of being up 7-6, which she was very close to being, she's down 7-3. It's a four-shot turnaround. And uh, that's gutting. That's heartbreaking when you're holding three like that, knowing you just have to be very careful. And just push through an, an extra foot of weight. It was all it took to uh, give shot away. What's the? See oh. the Nolene Dutton, a former pairs champion here, former champion at the AO and superstar bowler. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, Look down the green there, I can see a fours team. That looks that's Aaron Sheriff, Aaron Tees, and a couple of guys from Warilla there. Who else do I recognise there to that? Wow, that's a power team of fours up the other end there. So the thing for Lara is that she just needs to stay positive because the thing is she set up that end beautifully. Just the end result wasn't there for her. But well, I'm done in singles. These these margins, you can come back from them. There's no ends to play out. It's just whoever gets to 21 first. It's the beauty of singles. You've got to get those 21 shots. Yeah, strong start there by both ladies again. Laura, uh, a foot short. Kelsey right uh, at jack high. She's nailing these short ends. Just dropping that one a little bit short, but still well within what you'd consider a, uh, a healthy distance, a healthy space. Just watching Lara's uh, form there, the way she delivers, is really, it's really compact and neat. And it is smooth. a neat style, isn't it? And she's got in. That is sensational from Lara Butler. What a magnificent shot around her own. Probably lo actually looking to promote her own if, if she missed. Didn't need to. Came in around that short bowl and just dropped beautifully onto Jack. 
5 2 the lead next door. McCarrahan and Millerick. Kelsey, she's in the area. She jogs in behind it. She likes it. Oh, she's very close. Oh, Oof. just nips through. Something to rest on there on the on uh, Lara's forehand. She she can uh, afford to go back there. That's what she's doing. Yeah, best back bowl. Jack movement now by uh, by Kelsey's is difficult. She's got to find a way to get that Jack off uh, Lara's bowl or move Lara's bowl completely. So at last end, she's put it behind her. Lara Butler, singles, a game of mentality. Yeah, very considered there by Kelsey, a famous wind-up. And around she comes on her forehand. Yeah, probably, well, sitting at the back now makes it, puts her in a better, better, far better position. But uh, Lara's still stuck to Jack there and looking hard to move. So let's see what Lara can do. It's very precarious head, doesn't want to move anything too much here, and I reckon this will be a pretty conservative line. Yeah, especially after the last end. Yep. Let's see what she does. Yeah, that's... Well, it's still moving. Oof. She gave it a really good effort, but she took it out on a wide line just to ensure that she didn't have the same catastrophe as the last end. But it's 7-4 now in favour of Kelsey Cottrell. Lara Butler puts a disaster in the back of her memory. And she's back on the board. That is the perfect response. Absolutely perfect. Gets, gets control of the mat back. We'll uh, look at, uh, well, probably look at changing the length. Uh, she's The mat's right back near the tee. Um, doesn't look like she's throwing Jack that hard. So it might be another mm. short end. It will be a couple of metres longer than what uh, Kelsey has been throwing. Of course, the Australian Open proudly presented by Apia who are proud to support the event volunteers and officials. Lots of officials around here today. This crowd is building around the... Uh, around They're now stacked two deep all around the green. Under the veranda, it's far more than that. As uh, Lara puts her first bowl about a metre behind Jack. A good start for coverage. <coughs> Glenn Archer watching on. Uh, Glenn was in, I think it was Bali, was it? Bangkok. Are you, are you still there, Glenn? Oh, there's Kelsey. That's Jack High. Beautiful bowl. This has been a really hot start. McCarrahan and Millerick also pretty hot. 5 4 the lead to Cass. Another one back there for Lara Butler. Glenn is still on holiday. Hope you're enjoying it. And thanks for spending some time on your holiday with us. I know. So Kelsey now to put in a second. And Kelsey's got the best back there. Tactical move. She can see the uh, Jack hanging out. Exposed and ready to be uh, tapped back, especially by a deadly, accurate bowler like Lara, uh, Lara here. It's coming. It is coming, Lara Butler. What a great shot. Sensational. 
Something about this middle session, Ben Crickstolitis. Absolutely right. She, look, Lara had all the options on that side. Everything she could do for all the percentage plays were on that hand, and she played it perfectly. She's holding one. If she'd moved Jack, she was holding a few more, but ones will do at this point, especially in a match like this. What has Kelsey got in reply? Well, this one's coming down as well. She might just not have the weight. She was close. But that drop short. One to Lara. There's a lot of finish on these bowls here at Helens Vale. It's the, the green's quickening him up. The rain, wind hasn't really picked up much at all. It's pushing the flags a bit harder than it was earlier, but nothing really to speak of. Man named Steve Crickstolitis watching on. Ben? <laughs> Steve again. He's in South Australia at the moment. Val McKenzie joining as well. The biggest Aaron Tees fan you've ever met. <laughs> Jeez, too. Yeah, Steve sending me photos from Christie's Beach, I think it was, in South Australia. Very nice. And Mara Butler, what she got here now, going around the back. Kelsey had the furthest back bowl. But now that's Lara, and she's... Nicely. Yeah, it's an ob obvious tactic there. She hasn't um, hasn't thrown that too hard unintentionally. It's gone back because she can see, trying to anticipate what her opponent's going to play in a heavy, heavy weighted shot. And Kelsey did have the best back, and doesn't anymore. Cass Millerick has just scored a two. Against Kelly McCarahan, so she leads that one 7-4. As Kelsey fires in another one, this one is going to drop under. It might rock hers, which does, touches the oh. jack, but not enough. That's a one to Lara Butler. 7-5, the lead to Kelsey Cottrell. Eight yeah. ends played. Yeah, Lara's last bowl back there, forcing uh, forcing Kelsey just to play a little bit lighter than maybe she'd, she'd have preferred to, and it uh, has paid off. Joel, it is Lara. Pr written down as Laura, pronounced Lara. <laughs> Might have to put that in on a little graphic on the screen. It's we'll, pronounced Lara. We'll give her a nickname, just call her Loz or something. <laughs> Kelly McCarrah. Oh, sorry, uh, it was uh, Hayley Packer. Called her Lala. <laughs> so it is confirmed. It is 100% Lara Butler, not Laura. You're welcome, Joel. Uh, drop that bit short there, the left-hander. Great to see here at Hullins Vale you know, the amount of people that have come and the support of the Queenslanders and all the people that have travelled up here in the Australian Open wouldn't be what it is without the support by Major Events Gold Coast and the Queensland Government through Tourism and Events Queensland the perfect place to be in winter. Apparently it is mightily cold down south in my home city of Melbourne. We saw an Australian bowling legend walk past us, Wayne Turley. OAM. OAM. A lot of them around. The OAMs or the legends? Legends. Legends all over this, uh, this green at the moment. Lara just pushing back a little bit there. Not a bad home. Yeah, handy later on. Great to see everybody's comments and everybody tuning in. Not all of them nice, but 99%. <laughs> you know who you are. Good morning to David Jacobs. Great to have your company from Scotland. What time is it there at the moment? Is it 3 a.m.? Oh, Belinda says it's 4 a.m. in, in uh, South Africa. Also, oh, could be very close to that time. There we go. On the... Scotland an hour behind, I think, so it might just be. So Kelsey is crossed... holding sway. Yeah, it's crossed twice. It's thrown this one out a bit wider. 
hooping back. Trying to hoop back anyway. I reckon she's done in... Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's done enough. David Jacobs, yep, three in the morning in Scotland. Still awake or just got up? <laughs> Celebrating an Australian victory in the test, surely. From Scotland, we'd like to see the English lose. <laughs> So, big bowls coming up here for Butler. Down two in a measure. Or a big bowl coming up. Yeah, important bowl here. Really needs to at least cut it down. Be satisfied with one. Better, better off having the shot. Just put some width on it. She has. Get that coming into view shortly. It's come around wide. So two and a measure to Kelsey. An opportunity here. Yeah, having a good look. The angle we have is quite odd where the Jack's position there. Jay, Alan Dale. So good to see there's still a few Vig reps hanging in there as we approach the finals, including on the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great state. Great to have your company. We've got Maureen watching from Vancouver Island. Cass Miller scored another one. She leads 8-4 against Kelly McCarahan next door. So both matches poised on a knife's edge at the present time. What's Kelsey got? Has she landed a blow? Yep. That's so, the best one, best one this end. It was two and a measure. Oh, that's a full count. That is a full count for Kelsey Cottrell. And all of a sudden, she makes her move. Nine ends played. 11-5 the score. The defending champion looms large. Yep. Big display. Big end. Four shots when she was already three ahead. Has uh, kicked it out and it's she's got all of it, all ahead of her now. Laura, Lara. <laughs> Even I'm getting You've confused done it. now. Loz. It's, I just kept calling her Lara Mertz <laughs> the other day and kept forgetting that uh, she changed the name. Really interested in these short ends. It's. Uh, Love to have a chat after the game and just see what the decision making point was there. It's obviously working for her. Well, it is, and it's something that Kelsey would have analysed. She's and and look, we know she tends to go for the the t to t, but maybe this is something that she's planned and pre-planned. She's had a lot of time to think about this and what she's going to do. Yeah, good reply there from Lara. But uh, yeah, hundred percent right. The preparation is. Uh, is key the mind games? It's such a mental game. It takes a mentally tough player to get this far, and preparation is often the key. Kerry watching down in Geelong, in Victoria Kelsey. Look at that! Yeah, bowl for bowl again, as we've seen so often. The when they've got that line, it doesn't take much to correct the the weight, and you've only got one thing to worry about. Then it's easy to do. Cass Millerich just played a bomb next door. What's Lara got for us? And I tell you what, this is coming. This is coming. <laughs> and it's almost good enough. What a bowl from Lara Butler. That is, that's four brilliant bowls. What can Kelsey do to change things? To get maybe a second in. You are kidding. She's close. Is it Got the jack. Yep. And she's made three. Yeah, probably that white one might be in. Jack may not have gone back as far as I thought. Not too, too called by the ITO. But fantastic bowl, kicking Jack across and making it really difficult for Lara here. What's she got? 
It's got the weight, and that's about all. So, look, looks, it looks like a few to Kelsey. Leaning towards maybe a three, but it could be two. I think two might be the signal. So, Eric, this is on YouTube as well. Bowls Australia YouTube. Cass Miller plays another bomb next door. What's Kelsey got in reply to Lara? Wants to come underneath her own. Tries to rock it up. Yep, there's the third one. Really good shot. Playing in just enough in there to rest amongst hers. Didn't want to move things around too much. Now, Lara got the weight on oh, still two. Lara got the weight perfectly with her last bowl. Just needs to change the line here. Still two. That's a surprise to me looking at that. Well, a couple of options here. That draw still on on her backhand. And uh, there was also a weighted shot should she wish, wish to play it, but she has gone the draw. Just needed a little bit more correction here, Lara Butler. How's the weight? Is it enough? Let it down, just the weight. What's the score here? Is it still two? Kelsey's going to pull him out. They might have just trimmed it to two, but she's going to ask tape. Sharon for the tape. Kelsey knows that she wants the, she wants the extra score. 9-4, the lead to Cass Millerick over Kelly McCarrahan. Cass really starting to stamp her authority on that semi-final as well. Yeah, Cass just dropped a real bomb to, to rescue that end and get one. That is two to Kelsey Cottrell. She moves to a 13-5 lead. And despite Lara Butler... Putting the pressure on. It's uh, certainly not helped. Uh, that, that I, I can't help but thinking about that end where she had a chance to get a four. Yeah, just and and what that does to you with the the heartbreak and the mental capacity for the rest of the game. It may take a couple of ends to get past that and. Uh, let your opponent get, get back into the game. So we've got some updates from the women's uh, women's pair semifinals. Wendy Wilson and Chris Doolan, they've gone end for end with Carmen Anderson and Alan Faulkner. That's a 5-3 lead to the Victoria-Queensland combination of Doolan and Wilson. And then the other semifinal between Warsnop and Heyman and Delves and Van Eldick. Delves and Van Eldick lead that 9-2 to two after six. Kelsey, weight not bad, line I think she'd like to correct. Sarah Rogers saying, not sure if it's been pointed out yet, but Cass v Kelly is a rematch of the Victorian State Champion of Champions semi-final. Is it really? And it, yes, it certainly is. So and Cass Millerick won that. Yeah, Cass is a fantastic bowler. Has spoke I spoke of last time when we actually covered one of her games about her about her style of uh, bowling. It's it's one to watch. But speaking of good styles, the left-hander Lara Butler here just putting another one down. They've gone. It's a little bit longer again. Not a lot longer, but uh, yeah, just fantastic. Good correction there. Drops in behind Jack for a shot. Oh, it says two, actually. There you two go. Two right ones. So, all of a sudden, Lara Butler with the ascendancy, but there's plenty of room here for Kelsey. She jogs in behind, and we know she likes it when she does that. Wants it to just hold on. It's coming. It's coming. It is there. Kelsey Cottrell. You start.
such an unflappable person. Facial expression, deadpan. She just knows what has to be done. Yeah, really good focus shown by both ladies here. And Lara Butler sits it out, and that'll be, I reckon, for a second. I've said it before, that's one of the hardest shots in the game, just to draw a a bowl off Jack like that, and she's done it absolutely brilliantly to the point where she managed to... um, Move Kelsey's ball far enough back that it uh, that she's holding two. And just something uh, on one of the other rinks up here, we've got a fours game. It's uh, Barry Lester, Corey Wedlock, Aaron Tees, and Aaron Sheriff. Not bad. It's a powerful team against uh, the Tarrant Point lot of Hanson, Pierce, Donald, well McDonald, and Axon, and they are up the Tarrant Point lads six one against wow. that dream team. Kelsey coming around the back. Well, what will this score be here for Lara Butler? Opportunity to make a third. That third end where she could uh, could have scored a, a four and went down a one will be absolutely in her mind here. It's maybe a pretty cautious bowl. Lara Butler. Knows which one she has to beat, the one at the back there. She's coming in. She's got the weight right, I think, just went through. And gave everyone here a heart attack at the same time. But she gets a two and a much needed two at that. 13-7, the lead to Kelsey Cottrell. I say everyone here, I say me. (laughs) <laughs> Just her second multiple of the contest here, Lara Butler. Scored one in end number one and now again in end number 11. Something that she needed now. This Jack is motoring along. Yeah, she's taken the mat yep. right back and he's figured out the short ends aren't, aren't really playing to her strength. And has gone a good... Oh, that'd be seven-eighths length. Length. I look up. <laughs> Just come underneath. Took some grass there. Mm. Yeah, not enough. Uh, not enough grass. Weight pretty good. Something to adjust to. Here comes Kelsey. A good amount of grass on that hand. Weight looking okay as well. Oh, it's dropped a metre short. As we said, and changing the length will, usually takes a bowl or two to get to uh, and a sighter to find the find it properly. Anderson and Faulkner score a four to take the lead seven five against Doolan and Wilson. Go for Kelsey. She's got one in the bank at the moment. Looking for a second. It's Cass Millerick holding sway. She's leading 10 4. Scoreboard <laughs> indicated on the top right hand side of your screen. Thanks to Locke for putting that up. 10 4, good buddy. <laughs> Here comes Kelsey's uh, second. Looking to build and it's done it magically. Sharon had the chalk out before that even stopped. Never in doubt. The option for Lara, she goes with a backhand. Try and come around this Kelsey Cottrell bolt. Looks like La La is the uh, preferred nickname for Lara, so that's what I'm going to run with from now on so I don't keep mistakenly calling her Laura. Change of length is taking a bit longer for Lala to correct. Every time I hear Lala, I just think of the Teletubbies. <laughs> Tinky, Winky, Dipsy, surely, Lala and Poe. Surely you're too old for the Teletubbies. No, nah, that was my childhood. <laughs> I still remember all the Teletubby songs. Because I used to sing them to my daughters. Ah, fair enough. 
Kelsey with another great bowl, probably holding two. And oh, so Colin McCarrahan drove next door, and they're going to have to wait until Lara finishes her delivery until they place that. So that Jack went skyrocketing. Yeah, very heavy shot there by Kelly and, uh, and shot across the, the rink nearly into ours. And here comes Lala. Hell, with Jack. Lara Butler. What a great shot. Serves it on a platter for herself. Would have been absolutely disappointed with her first three and then to, to be able to pull that out of the hat like that. Magnificent bowling. Under pressure as well. What's Kelsey got to reply here? She had a very good look at the head. She's taking her time on the mat up there, having a making a really really strong assessment of what, as to what she needs to do. Steps onto the mat. Crouch down. And delivery, it's it's got a bit a little bit of weight on it. Yeah, definitely running through the head, has collided in the front. And not got the results she wanted. But that result is very, very good for Lara Butler. Last two ends absolutely vital, as pointed out by John in the in, in the chat there. Could not be more important for her to keep going. Ones will still do this very... It's a slow way to do it, but it will work out for her. If you keep scoring ones, you can't lose. Or if you do them... Consecutively, that's right. We have a. Uh, she's uh, five shots down with six ends to go. Oh no, it's single. Sorry, she's gone mm -hmm. to twenty-one. No, yep. keep scoring singles. Go, yep. lady. No timer, of course, as well. We are well past that now. Untimed finals. We love it. A place in the AO final up for grabs. Twelve ends played. It's Kelly McCarrahan comes up on the next rink over to deliver her final bowl of their end and currently I reckon down one she's down 10-4 so she needs something Ten five now The, Can the Clayton Canadian. <laughs> Clayton's Canadian? Is she Australian yet? <laughs> the Clayton Canadian lives in Australia, married to a New Zealander. Just lost the scorecard of uh, the fours game up there. I'm getting, a, getting some messages asking about that. Score looks like 6-3 at the moment. Oh, great shot. Lara Butler, she is playing so well and you can't help but... And look, I know she probably wouldn't be thinking about it. She might, but I keep thinking about it. That end where she was so close to getting a four, trailed the jack and conceded one. And it's interesting how we, we did say to take a, a couple of ends maybe to adjust, and she seems to have come back now with playing with confidence. Kelsey comes underneath, so still two to Lara. Tell you what, if she scores a two or a three, game well and truly on. Just asking the question about the position of the bowls here. She's definitely holding two. Worried about the bowls at the back. She's come on the forehand. As we get it, gentlemen. Come in the way of our bowl there, but he's okay. So she put that one down. Jack, I the. Uh, 
or just past Jack High. The weight was pretty good. Just left it hanging out a bit wide. Yeah, the weight there was excellent. So now, Kelsey, she's gone big. Looking to clear. Miss oh. through the gap, not far away at all. Oh, yeah, nearly moved Jack just with the wind of that one. That was a really good heavy shot. Either the kill or driving the jack back would have been a massive advantage to her. Leaves her a bowl left to, to outdraw or rescue if she needs. But uh, it's still very much an open shot here for Lala to get into. David Jacob saying the grandkids, the Teletubbies drove him mad. I actually <laughs> kind of got quite got into it, and I, still, I do genuinely, I'm sitting here singing the Macapaca song in my head right now. I don't know if that is the Teletubbies Macapaca. No, that's not the Teletubbies, sorry. It's a different Tinky one. Tinky Winky, I'm thinking of in the night garden, you're right. And Wood, the producer, owes a, or I hope she hangs up on the bank, and she has. Ooh. She's now got the best back bowl. Lara Butler has constructed this end beautifully. So Kelsey Cottrell, what is her decision? We'll find out very, very shortly. Cass Millerick holding again on the rink next door. No, insert herself back into the head for two. Kelsey surveying, having a look. Let's see what she does. Oh, heavy again. again. It's come the other hand this time. Close. Oh, Cleared it all. And oh, oh, Lara's oh. has gone into the ditch. All of the balls shot everywhere then. And guess who's on the tee? Very clever switching over to go um, hard on, just on the other hand, go to, they only bend slightly when you give them that much force. And uh, she had everything to run into there and had pulled it off beautifully. There was nothing else that Lara could have done or actually, no, or oh, our marker had one white paddle up and <laughs> she's quickly changed that, Sharon. So 14-8, that is a sensational bowl from Kelsey Cottrell and it's why she's had so much international success. She's a superstar and that is why. Brilliantly done. Oh, I take some confidence to play that at that, um, that point of the game where she was two down, really didn't want to go down another multiple and give Lara a real, real chance to come back, but you know, confidence to play heavy, dart through and smash Jack back. Fantastic play. As good as it gets from Kelsey, after conceding two ends in a row, she wrestles the momentum back next door. Cass Millerick leads 11-5 over Kelly McCarrahan. So those two seemingly with almost one foot in the final with leads like that, but we know in singles, we know those leads don't last forever. You've got to finish off the job. There's no end clock to run down. There's no time clock to run down. You've got to get the shots. And it seems to get harder and harder the closer and closer you get to that get to that oh that score limit. Look at those two. I'm just pointing out Kelsey uh, threw two heavy, heavy bowls as her last two and then can come back and drop the her bowl right next to Jack like that. That is a genuinely hard thing to do. And uh, Lala just managing to managing to pick her off there, but they're very close. What's Kelsey got in reply? It's going to dip under, so Lara holding sway. I think copped a little gust of wind halfway down there. It did, didn't it? It came through. <coughs> That's why we play outside. All conditions really good here by Lala. Knows the jack's hanging out there a bit. Happy to be back. Samuel 
saying Kelsey just seems that step above everyone else. Man, she's good. And she is. Yeah, terrifying. Terrifying bowler for an opposition. But Mara Butler is performing exceptionally well. This one by no means over. Very calm, very collected. Both the players, actually, they can really, they're really focused. You can see it in their body language. What has she got here? Lara Butler just pulls up short. Line, excellent. Yeah, it looks closer on the camera than it does in real life. It's uh, sitting well short, well, not well short, a couple <laughs> inches short of uh, Kelsey's bowl there. Just right on the line. Another head constructed very nicely by Lara Butler. Kelsey's final bowl. What will it be? Look, I'll give it all credit to Lala. She's really forcing Kelsey to play here. Um, play her game. It's a really evenly contested game at this point. What she got here, Kelsey Cottrell. She comes around. So an opportunity for Butler to score a second here. Kelly McCarrahan back on the board. 6-11 the score there in favour of Cass Millerick. Both of those two going up in ones. So Butler steps to the mat to conclude this 14th end. What will she be on? Will it be eight? Will it be nine? Well, she's playing that forehand as you'd expect. Probably looking either for the draw or jack movement and just a little bit just to go past at the back there. Or it's coming, it's coming. She likes it. What has she got? Oh. Just. Oh, it fell down. Not the result. Oh, maybe it is the result she's there. put two up. That's two. Yeah. Nicely done from Lara Butler. 14 10 the score. She's back within an end of her opponent. It fell down late. It hung for a bit, and then just as they were having a look, down it dropped enough for two shots. So, 14 ends gone. 14-10 the score. Lee Such never been so happy to get double digits in a game of singles. Kelsey belted me. Kelsey belts a lot of people. <laughs> Lara Butler. Yes, Jason, this is the semi-final. Um, Lara Butler is performing with gusto. And a longer end again. Three-quarter length at at most, about halfway down the line on, on the other end. And uh, Lara just dropping one metre and a half back, perhaps looking for some coverage straight away. Kelsey, of course, being uh, quite deadly with a deadly accurate with a weighted shot. And this is a bowl that I thought was going to pull up a, a metre ago and it kept running. The green's running beautifully here at Helensvale. Still was short, but uh, about a metre, but just a magnificent green. The club Helensvale putting on a show again. They are. A lot of construction around in between the two major greens that we're using. Green one. And green three, putting up a canopy here that our CEO, Matthew Kennedy, visited yesterday. Mac Max Bowls Australia's great friends doing a wonderful job here at Club Helensvale. Stay tuned for more of that after the Australian Open. And Lara's got the advantage here, but Kelsey has got some prime real estate that she can draw into. Yeah, lots of space. It won't be there for long, looking at that. She only needs a dime. But did it go too far? Sharon was pretty quick with the paddle, but stayed in the count. Yeah, and Lala straight on the mat. First time I've seen that. Determined to get this shot. She knows exactly what she needs to do and what to correct. So the lead in the women's pairs semi-final, Carmen Anderson and Ellen Faulkner lead 10-5 over Wilson and Doolan. As Lara Butler delivers again. 
In the other semi-final, Delves and Van Eldick lead 12-3 over Walsnop and Heyman. So it looks as though those two might be on for a final showdown with Anderson and Faulkner at the moment. That could very well change. Well, Kels had a, had a go at that and ran through. And really was looking to uh, smack La Lara out of the... Off the rink and sit herself. Probably played it a bit heavy, to be honest. Uh, moving Jack back is of absolutely no advantage to her at the moment. Unless she sticks with it, of course. Lara was out of Broadbeach watching her husband, Blake, playing the men's pairs last night. What's she got now? Kelly McCarrahan has scored a two next door. 8-11 the score there. Lara. Has she kept it? I reckon that... Oh, it's gone too far. It's, it's the one, but she saw Kelsey go back heavy that time and putting another one back. She knew she needed to do it. We know that ones will do. So all of a sudden, both of these semifinals... While they might have looked like they were going the way of Cass and Kelsey, things might be tightening up a bit. Certainly in between McCarrahan and Millerick. Let's see what Kelsey can do to try and negate this Butler comeback. Is it going to get back? Just comes around. So that's going to be one, we believe, to Lara Butler, who strings together four of the last five ends now. And all of a sudden, it's 14-11. Yeah, it looks like she just regained that confidence. She may have may have taken a hit on, but well done. Good, very good bowling by, by Lara. She's dropped a, a couple she wouldn't be happy with, but corrected every time. And correction is the key. Once you've made a made an error or you're not happy with your bowl, you can correct. You've got bowls left. Get up and do it again. So the margin is three in both the semi-finals. A place for glory on the line. The Blue Ribbon Singles event. It's one that everybody dreams of winning because if you win an Australian Open singles title arguably got more matches to win and it's one that most people fancy very or rate very highly in their accolades. So many matches to get through and the quality of opposition that you have to face is as good as any tournament that you'll see and that includes some of the international tournaments that you get. Good start there by Lala and matched up beautifully by Kelfs. Damien, the final isn't today. The women's final, women's singles final, will be tomorrow at the Broad Beach Bowls Club. So get down if you can. If not, watch on uh, Channel 7 or 7-2 in Australia and uh, also Sky Sports NZ 7+. Plus. Here comes Lala. It's giving it a bit more weight. My and, apologies, Val. No, that's all right. And KO and Fox Sports as well. Yeah, a bit more weight on there by Lala. Just once again constructing your head. Uh, she knows that any that kind of weight just crossing will give her the advantage, and if she misses, then she's back. She can try again. But Kelsey's absolutely deadly on these draws at the moment. Pam Lewis watching poolside in Bali. Whether you're poolside or you're ringside, this is fantastic. Absolutely right, Jacob. Uh, David, sorry, David Jacobs set, set his alarm for then for that final. Definitely do that and uh, put your notifications on on the Bowls Australia Facebook page. Lara Butler sits it. Has it gone far enough? Wonder Kelsey. She was close. So close. Just hit uh, Kelsey's bowl a little bit too square, which forced it to roll forward instead of out, out of the rink. Multiple thousands of people watching. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you're from. 
as I reckon Kelly McCarahan might be down a few next door. And yeah. Kelsey on the draw. Crashes in. And is it enough for two? Yes, it is. The yep. ITO drop pulling up two paddles. Very handy thing to have those those ITOs marking these. It makes our job very easy. Brad Whitford from Wollongong played in my first Australian Open this year and it was so well organised and all the clubs were brilliant with their hospitality. We'll be back next year from Wollongong. Great to hear, Brad, that you had a great time. It is a magnificent festival of bowls and we hope to see you back. You might even get streamed next year, depending on which rink and which green you're on. You never know. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, absolute credit to uh, Andrew Howie and Paul Olsky getting this all together and organised and all the guys that are working with them there out of their office at Broadbeach. It's a massive event and they do a great job. Lara just having a quick chat on the sideline. I think that's her husband, Blake, giving her some tips and some advice. Kelsey takes a swig of water. So Lara Butler now to the mat. Pressure bowl in this situation. She's won four of the last five ends. Another end win here. Would be decisive possibly in this contest. She's gone big. Oh, she has gone big. And I tell you what, she's not far off. She's oh, affected a lot of things here. She'll be hoping this one goes in Jack the Jack is out of bounds. It'll be re-spotted on the tee where she's got two bowls, but a lot of room for Kelsey Cottrell. That's a fantastic shot and a, and a really good decision. She knew she was back there. Would have been willing, uh, how, excuse me, with how square she hit uh, Kelsey's ball, she would have been willing that into the ditch and uh, now has two shots to... Now has two shots to uh, make of that brilliant bowl. But as you said, a lot of room for Kelsey here, and she's absolutely deadly on these draws. Cass Mellerick has scored a four. She moves out to a 15-8 buffer over Kelly McCarahan next door. So one move is made. Will Kelsey make a second here? She needs this to be the shot to move out to a 15-11 lead. What's she got? She's put, put enough weight on it, without a doubt. Yeah, I think this will do. Yeah, pulls it up before the ditch. And That'll that's, do. That's enough. <coughs> so brilliant bowling again. Another fantastic end. That um, that sh heavy shot by Lala really, well, gave Kelsey the opportunity for one, but it did rescue rescue the end for her. No multiples. In a race like this, to the end, it's uh, you know, one's keeping it to one is a is a big deal. So fifteen eleven. No harm done for Lara Butler. It could have been worse. It's a great clear of the bowls. And she made Kelsey nail the final one of that last end. 16 played, it's 15-11. Kelsey very close to that checkout zone, as is Cassandra Millerick, who leads 15-8 next door as the former Queenslander. Looks to get through to the final, but Kelsey now... This short ends being the, the trend here. Oh, Brenda Bolton from uh, Winton. It's good to watch the, now to watch the game. Winton's a remarkable town. If you're out in central Queensland, worth a look. That's where all the dinosaurs are. Where the wild things are. <laughs> where the wild things are. So Lara matching Kelsey's previous bowl, but just a little bit further back. This has been a high quality semi final. It really has been. I'm loving the quality of the bowls here. It's a, another heart stopping middle session game. You know, four shots in it. And a race to that score as a that normal, very considered, regular delivery by Lala. Here she comes now. She's played this beautifully onto the jack. Oh, no touch. The uh, ITO was hovering, ready for it to touch jack, but she's just dropped in front. One of the hardest uh, bowls to play now but for Kelsey. 
So what has Kelsey got in reply? It's going to be pretty hard to get to, actually, because her bowl is kind of in the way of the line. But it is Kelsey Cottrell. It is Kelsey Cottrell. She's she, a bit of a bit of a freak. If anyone can play the shot, she can. She finds her way to the back. That's it. Lala's got a changing hands here. Again, smart bowls, constructing heads and uh, thinking about her opponent, not just her own bowls, her, the position of her own bowls. Doesn't want to cut the head too much here. No, she's coming and rested with Kelsey at the back there. So there's a pair of each bowl of each of their bowls back there. Very big cluster. So Kelsey's got one more to change this outcome. Yeah, Kelsey's probably got the advantage here is if she hits uh, Lala's bowl and Jack moves back that way. The the two blue bowls at the back there being on one side. I think Lala was just trying to keep keep it. Uh, this to keep her last ball this side of the line to cover that off. Kelsey back on her forehand again. Kelsey would love dearly to get this into the equation. She's thrown it out wide. She's given it every chance. It won't do the job. Yeah, just not the weight. Didn't look happy at all. Out. She's arms wide in exasperation. So now Lara Butler with a chance, albeit not an easy chance. To get a second. Yeah, draw a ball. There's a, foot of, well, a couple of feet of room back and a foot of room in front. She's got a, you know, a, at least a foot circumference around the bowl, around the jack to uh, draw into. She's gone her backhand, which is uh, across the green for, a, for the left hand up. She's got some weight on it. Yep. Won't touch Kelsey's. Goes around the back. That's all right. 15 12, the lead. Kelsey Cottrell, the defending singles champion. Only one bowler has ever done it. And that's Natasha Van Eldick. Who that's won right. it in 19 and 21. Sorry, Ben. No, you're right. I was just answering a question here. Damien uh, Kressinger, yeah, I say ITO, but which is their qualification. They're wearing the ITO shirts because they're the highest level uh, umpires we can get. And we're fortunate enough for these finals to have them as markers. No one's uh, going to be more accurate on a measure or more disciplined with their uh, procedures. Now, Lala's put a very long end. That's the longest end of the game so far. And has the back covered, which means she's sitting pretty... Oh, half a foot maybe behind the tee there. And Kelsey's drawn one pretty close. The change of length not troubling her much at all. She can adapt. The Alan Faulkner, Carmen Anderson match against Wilson and Doolan. After nine, halfway through, 11-6, the lead to Anderson and Faulkner over the defending runners-up. And that quarterfinal up there that I've been asked about again, uh, the Dream Team has now eight, and the Tarrant Point lads with Ray Pearce in the team are six still. 13-5 lead to Dalves and Van Eldick over Warsnop and Heyman. So Sheriff has come back. This rink looks like uh, Lala's got the weight right, but just, just pushed across and left it hanging out there. And in comes Kelsey again, covering the back. She'll cover with Lara's back bowl there. But still plenty of room for the Western Australian from Manning. Same club as Christina Christic. This has been a pulsating semi final. And Lara Butler. She hasn't been this close since end eight. Or end seven, really. Ugh. Has she put that one in? She's crashed into Kelsey's. So she'll have one ball to rectify things. Really unlucky there. Playing down that hand, uh, was, that was always going to be the risk. But that is her favourite hand, uh, her forehand with a... 
A win. Just l- unlucky not to draw around. So. The wind picks up a little bit. A little bit chilly again here. As Kelsey trails the jack. Brilliant ball. Looks like two. I'm waiting for the ITO to put up the cards. Excuse me, just the one. Mm. I was very off. Oh, no, it looked like two to me as well. So, Kelly McGarrahan holding three currently. Ben, next door, which would make it if she if Cass can't negate things. Uh, 15-12 lead. It's Keith Club. Yeah, we've uh, addressed that one. She's spelt Laura, pronounced Lara. I'm calling her Lala because that's her nickname. I'm glad you did that because I, I think I've said it four times <laughs> in this broadcast. <laughs> that's right. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> of course, you might not have been watching, so that's if you've just joined us. Here we go. Lara Butler. Around the back. So, Kelsey with an opportunity to get herself... Into the checkout zone. She's currently in the frozen food section. Looking to go to the register. Of course, the checkout zone, if you've just joined us at the Australian Open, is when a player can get within one end of winning. So when a full count can get you over the line in singles play. Some bad driving on the roads behind us. Have you heard a little horn? Here comes Kelsey to double up her score here on this end. Played the backhand, looking to... Oh, and she's done this beautifully. Look at this. Just fantastic. Under her own bowl. Rest nicely for two. She's got the stuff on the conveyor belt. <laughs> 17 to 12. <laughs> John Sigsworth, you're right. Checkout zone is from darts, not supermarket shopping, but uh, it certainly leaves it open for some puns, doesn't it? Yeah, Alex, if you want to mute the volume, you just turn it all the way down. It's quite easy, actually. Well done, Kelsey. Great start there. She's pushed it to uh, that longer length. She's playing it quite well, and obvious, it's obvious that she's doing well there. She's just sitting on Jack now. Drawn beautifully to a bear, Jack. Great reply by Lala. She's on fire. Things that you learn in this caper, Ben. You can't please everybody. <laughs> uh, men's fours update as requested. The Aaron Sheriff versus... Um is it Mr. Axon from New South Wales? They're currently currently up by one shot, 8-7. I'll find the other one for you. I can't see it from here. There's a lot of people standing in the way of the scoreboard. Hara Butler, what has she got?
Mitch Me is also watching on. Lucky he's not wearing the shorts when he's marking. He might blind everyone. Hey, I didn't say that, Mitch. That was Kyle Langley last week. <laughs> Kelsey puts another one in. And, yeah, and back. Looking good. Yeah, building the... Uh, building a little hit there. She's down one. Might, with her last ball, would like to play a little bit of weight. Oh, wow, Lala. Yeah, fantastic ball. She's uh, got to win them all from here. Well, most of them anyway. Continue to keep the score very tight. has been a great semi-final. Kelly McCarrahan did score at three on the last end. So next door, 12-15. This one is close as Kelsey goes big. She got everything. The jack came forward. Oh, never like it when the jack comes forward. That's never fun. It's straight on the line too. They're going straight back up the line. Bouncing around like a pink, uh, like a pinball. Oh, who are you favouring here? I don't know. I'm just watching the ITO. She go. She's walked off the line. <laughs> She's going to collect uh, collect Kelsey's other bowl there. She hasn't given an indication yet. She'll have a look now. I, I have no idea who I'm leaning towards here. It's a really short draw, but she's got to change her weight here, Lara. I oh, lost the space. Four or five metres at least. Uh, Colin Bray, you're an absolute star. Oh, no. Has it stopped? Ah, thank you, Brett. Now that is one to Kelsey. So, she's getting closer. Lala will be devastated with that last shot. Had a lot of room. Drew the line perfectly. So, big asterisk there for Lara to go with end number six. She was holding three. Trout the jack. Look, it was a crucial miss, but still not out of it. Kelsey has to get those final shots, of course. Uh, going around the back. Next door, Cass Millerick scores a three to negate Kelly's three from the previous end. 18-12 the lead there. So both of our semifinals with the identical scoreline, Ben Crickstolitis. Isn't that amazing? Love a, love a good coincidence. And uh, as we're heading into the final ends, you'd expect... The uh, quality to come to the surface. The and Cass is an exceptional bowler, taking on, coming up, and uh, working hard against the Canadian international, doing very well. And over here, the ladies are covering each other wonderfully. Two at the back, and then Lala dropping one right on Jack and a touch. Absolutely sensational. So, and I think the thing with Kelsey here is that she's only conceded three multiples in this contest. They've actually won the same amount of ends here. 
throughout. Yeah, that's a really interesting statistic. Just the, the multiples going uh, Kelsey's way. So what the indication was there, maybe some chalk still sitting on that Kelsey's blue bowl. Well, that's okay. Still one to Lala. And crossing into the back. Is it two? No. I think a multiple here for Lara Butler. We just... Now some more pressure on Kelsey Cottrell. She will have the final say in this end. Kelsey will try and eliminate any chance of her doing that. But she's constructed a pretty good head here. Yes. The room there, this has said there's uh, she doesn't have many shots and therefore not many ends to go. So she's crashed in. How will it go? Now, has she cut off the line here for, for Lara? I'll have a good look. It's yeah. It looks so. It's a really interesting bowl. Of course, no time limit, so she can take as long as she wants to figure out what she plans to do here, the Western Australian. This is such... A crucial bowl in the context of things. If she gets it and gets a two, the margin's back to four. After this bowl, we'll give you an update around the green or around the rink. Around the rinks, and here she goes, Lara Butler. What have you got? Just a bit too much. Doesn't matter, though. She's back on the board. 18-13 yep. the lead. And every time I think we've had an end where we might have an asterisk there where Lara might have just missed or gone over, she's rebounded and won the next end, which is so crucial. Men mentally, she's played a wonderful match. Absolutely. She's, um, she doesn't show any emotion either. It's, you know, she keeps it all internalised. And that's a sign of a mature athlete. So, Carmen Anderson and Alan Faulkner leading 11-8 over Doolan and Wilson. And then 14-5, the favour of Delves and Van Eldick over Warsnop and Heyman. That's after 12 ends. And the other match after 10. Kelsey done here, long end. Oh, and Kelsey just carrying Jack. I don't know if she's no, not that's rolled out. Not rolled out, so that's one to Lara. Two to Kelly McCarahan next door. So 18-13 here in favour of Kelsey Cottrell. 18-14 next door in favour of Cass Millerick. Put a hand up to try to slow run bowl down down then. She did run into the ditch. Kelsey asking questions of uh, the ITO back there. Just to see how far uh, Lala is in front. Correction behind Jack. It's about indicating about a bowl's width. See, just a little wide. And has it stopped? No, that's gone in the ditch. 
So Lara Butler, an opportunity to possibly get a second in. Sitting, oh. oh, I just sat on the precipice. <laughs> I made the early call there, expecting it to sit up, but no, just just dropped. It's really trying to ha hang one out in the back there, worried that uh, Jack will push through. Should be pretty happy just scoring one after the other here. Here we go, Kelsey Cottrell. Did she get enough of it? Certainly did. She did. That is a brilliant bowl. Probably enough for two at this point. I'll just wait for the ITO to put a hand up, which he has not done. Lara's pretty quick on the mat here. What's she this got? Coming from? It's coming around. It is coming around. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh she just went a little bit too far. Any touch on that, Jack, would have been fantastic. Worried now that um, tragic that she put those two back in the in the ditch, which uh, clearly can't score. She only had two on there. She's two down, and, and Kelsey's got a, uh, well, a pretty easy shot on. She has played both on her uh, forehand, but a pretty easy shot on the backhand to rest in amongst Lala's two there. So this, she's on 18. We believe she's holding two. This could be it. Kelsey Cottrell might be able to finish this off right now. It's got a turn. I don't think it has. It won't. So we'll confirm. And it is two. So she's within one of victory. Oh, that hardest shot to get is the last one, as, as I've kept continuing to say yesterday. And, uh, and Lara Butler will continue to push because she's had an exceptional match. Just a couple it. of things here and there that haven't gone her way. Yeah, the pressure of these final ends really, really showing up. Might not be the final ends, who knows? <laughs> not We've seen... Ends, not many ends to go. Seen stranger things happen. It's true. We could play well. We've got another... So we've at least eight. we've at least got eight, <laughs> potentially. Yeah. So Kelsey running the long, longer line again, or the longer length. Of course, the Australian Open proudly brought to you by Apia. Proud to support the event volunteers oh, wow. and officials as Kelsey Cottrell. Puts one right near the jack. It's just hanging there, though. Lots for lots for Lala to do here. And like she li does like to do, she does like to put her first one back. I've noticed that this this whole game, her first. First bowl has generally been a, a metre back past Jack. She had every opportunity then to run through a little bit as she crossed, which is exactly what she attempted. And Kelsey matching her up at the back as she... as we would expect. Being a smart bowler, one's enough for, for her to win. So it's all on Lala here. Cass Millerick scoring a one next door, 19-14. The lead to her. She's two away. She's in the checkout zone herself. As Lara Butler just comes underneath. Decent weight correction. Another good cider. Well, line's good. Yeah, perfect. So the wind just gets a little bit chilly here under the little canopy. We have above us the shade protection.
Lara Butler, what has she got? She's got a turn. Weight really good. Has she done well, enough? I have to get, wait for the indication from the from the marker here. Could we get a measure? Really close look. Kelsey and Lara both with one to go in this end. Shot here by Kelsey there. And ITO just indicated that uh, Lala's got the shot. So Kelsey Cottrell to try and wrestle the shot back. She's been... Unflappable as per usual. It's going to dip under. Oh, it's crossed the line there and uh, left us open for a, another in. Lara Butler, what has she got? Lara Butler looking to double up what she's holding. Very wide. Doesn't want to obstruct this too much, though. That's the thing. It's coming back. Wow, that came back a long way with Did. a breeze. Or it rolled down. Oh, so it tapes out. We are going to get a measure. So we're still not 100% sure. Things looked as though it might go to Lara Butler. So we kick them away. So let's see what the end result is here. She's got the jack. She's got the mat. And we one. continue. Next door, Cass Millerick holding game at the moment. So 20 to 14. It's the score here. Like 22 ends. This has been a... Great contest. Lara Butler will continue to push. She will not let go. That's what we'd like to see from the competitors at the pointy end of this competition. So much fanfare for Lara Butler on the stream. It's great. She string a few wins together. Come back. We saw Chloe Stewart against her the other day. Really fought back hard. And once you get that mat in singles, so easy to gain some momentum. Liz Matthews, we agree. They are both bowling brilliantly. And Lala's bowl going a metre and a half past, as she has been her habit when she's had the mat. Next one down her forehand. Well, this might do. Oh, I thought that was going to get the jack. Yeah, look Not far. Yeah, as we look down uh, side on on this rink to to see what, it, what uh, see the bowls go down and, and live, it really looked like I was going to belly that jack and carry it back, but. Just skipped past. Still a lot of space in there for Kels to draw into. So Locks just put a 45 for you just on the uh, bottom right-hand corner of the screen with the head of the uh, next-door match going on as Kelly McCarrahan 
Puts down her final ball. She's down game. Lara Butler wants it to stop. Wants it to stop. One to blue. So she'll have one ball to change things as Kelly McCarrahan goes too far. She gives Cass a big hug. That's one of your finalists, Cass Millerick. She is into the 2023 Australian Open Women's Singles Final. And she will await to see what happens here between Lara Butler and Kelsey Cottrell. So, let's see what Lara can do. Chloe Morrison voicing her support for Cass Millerick. A great tournament from Kelly McCarrahan, who will be buoyed by that ahead of the World Bowls Championships, where she will be representing Canada in singles and pairs to save the game. Lara Butler. Playing the forehand side. A long way to turn in. It might get there. She knocks Kelsey up. And that will do within 30 seconds of the last or the first semi final finishing. Kelsey Cottrell is through to a second successive Australian Open Women's Singles final as she looks to become the second ever to defend her title to join Natasha Van Eldick in that group. Both played a wonderful match. Kelsey just too good in the clinches and getting the job done. 21 to 14. Lara Butler with a wonderful tournament to get through to the semi-final. She played well. A couple of ends didn't go her way, and that was probably the difference. They won a similar amount, but Kelsey always in the zone, Ben Crickstolitis. Absolutely. It was a fantastic game to watch. It's the, my first time seeing, seeing uh, Lara there, and uh, I really enjoyed really enjoyed that game very, very much, and the, the final is going to be an absolute cracker between two brilliant players. And uh, well called, Val. Thanks very much. It's been a pleasure, and uh, a lot of... Uh, a lot of fans here for Lara Butler and Kelsey Cottrell. One person didn't really enjoy the broadcast too much, but that's okay. As uh, Jamie Lee Warsnop and Dawn Heyman, they are down at 9-14 after 15 ends to Jen Delves and Natasha Van Eldick. Carmen Anderson and Ellen Faulkner, 11-8 up after 10. And that has changed now, 15-8 uh, after 11. They scored a four, so those two powering on towards a final. And with thanks to Apia, Proudly helping you live the good life and play bowls. And also with thanks to Australia's Gold Coast and Tourism and Events Queensland, it's been Val Febo and Ben Crix Delightus joining you on Ringside Live. We'll catch you for one more session after this at Club Helensvale.